Hello from Ankara. I'm back with my second video. Uh, in the background you can see the Ankara train station. In this video I'll take the train from Ankara to Tatuan, then uh, the bus to Wan, then the train into Iran to the town of Tabriz. So follow along, please. So I made it to the train. The train leaves from the old train station. I showed up on the new train station, so a little bit of stress there, but it worked out. We are getting ready to go. It's quite exciting. It's a 24 hour ride. I didn't have time to buy me any food or drinks, so I hope I sell something on the train. Okay, I'm gonna check out uh, the restaurant cart, buy some supplies. It should be open now, just uh, taken off from Ankara. Let's hope they have started uh, doing some service. It's pretty full, this train. Looks like this is uh, second class, maybe. Ah, this looks nice. It was open, so now I have some supplies, some Coca-Cola and water, some snacks. No beer though, it's too bad. We're now moving slowly out of Ankara. There's a lot of construction going on beside the line, so that's maybe why it's so slow. But it certainly explains why this trip takes 24 hours. I'm really settled in now. Uh, it's very comfortable. I'll try to do a proper tour of the cabin now. I have this uh, all to myself. There's air conditioner here, you can adjust. Uh, there's also lighting. There's some music if you like that. Uh, there's a mirror and a sink. And also a place to charge your phone and stuff. That's important. There are two seats. Uh, that turns into a bed and one extra bed above me. There's a desk you can take out to writing or put your laptop on. There's a freezer. It's good to put your supplies in. It's actually the first time I've ever been on a train with a freezer in a cabin. There's a more storage place here. And a place to put your bag up top. The landscape looks very dry. Uh, it's the mountains uh, in the background.
this is my favorite part of a train journey. Uh, just watching the landscape pass by, listening to some music or a podcast and just relaxing. The landscape has changed a lot since I left Ankara. It's more open now and really beautiful view. Um, I truly recommend this train trip to and everybody. It's comfortable, it's easy, it's beautiful. So you should come. Check here also. Let's see. Good morning, it's now 7 o'clock in the morning, I just woke up, I had a great night's sleep, uh, did wake up a few times because of some sounds, uh, there was an alarm going off sometimes in the middle of the night, but overall it's been a good night. Now I'll try to tackle the hole in the floor toilet, wish me luck. I made it, but what a workout. Now we're slowly moving alongside the beautiful lake here in eastern Turkey. I guess this scene hasn't changed a lot for a few thousand years, a herdsman with his uh, sheep. This is really some perfect landscape to wake up to. I did in the end actually find a um, toilet with a high seat, it was so much better, but that was a little bit dirtier in uh, second class. I'm sure there is another toilet in this wagon also, but it's closed, so maybe the man who runs this carriage has it as his own toilet, I guess. Looks like we'll be about two hours late uh, coming into Tatuan, but it's not a problem. I have plenty of time to catch the next train, so I'll be fine. Um, some days there's a ferry that crosses Lake Wan that you can catch if you want, but the ferry only runs if uh, there's enough people who want to take it, so 
Uh, today there is not enough people, so we'll take the bus around the lake. It will take about the same time, and I get seasick anyway, so I'm, I'm happy with this. It looks like we're out of some of the mountains now, with a lot of tunnels, into more of flatlands. I've probably said this a few times before, but it's a really remarkable landscape, I think. Beautiful colors. So, I finally made it. It took 27 hours, not uh, 24. Thank you, thank you. See ya. So, this is Tatvan. Nice to meet you. I'm now alongside the Lake Van. Uh, I made some friends on the train and on the bus, so they decided to go swimming. So I'm not going to swim, but it's fun to watch. Right at the van the train station after some kebabs. I'm not sure if you can hear me now, but now the train is ready. It's like in half an hour before it leaves. I will try to find my coach and my cabin, get ready to go to Iran. So we're trying to find carriage number two. Tabriz. Thank you. Okay, I finally settled in now, so I'll have a look around and try to explore and see what this train is like. So Follow along and let's see what we find. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll look at the um, toilets and see what those are like. At least the first one is uh, the low type. I'll check the second one also. Hello. Thank you. A little bit tight squeeze there for me. Mm. 
I've just now been stamped out of Turkey. It's quite a long process and it was just uh, one guy who's gonna stamp the passport of everyone on this train. There's so really no system to queue. And I was very surprised to see a Norwegian passport. So I had to stand and wait. Everybody else took like 10 seconds. For me, it took 12 minutes to get through, but now I'm out of Turkey and just waiting to see if I can get into Iran. Well, now I'm officially in Iran. Uh, it took, let's just check here. How many hours? Well, it took about four hours close to that and we still haven't moved from the Iranian border but got my visa stamped so I mean at least this is my 70th country so I hope it will be a good one see you tomorrow morning I just woke up uh, after sleeping maybe three three hours I think I'm somewhere outside Tabriz. How far outside, I'm not sure. <laughs> 